and welcome to the next video in the work from home yoga challenge uh, that I am doing uh, in collaboration with Medha Bhaskar of Amruta Bindu Yoga. Uh, now if you've been following along, um, uh, if you've been following us on social media, Instagram and uh, on Facebook, you know that um, the next uh, asana is Sukta Bhattakon Asana. Now, Sukta means lying down and Bhatta Konasana is very popularly known as the butterfly posture. Uh, however, the Sanskrit name, uh, if, you, if you translate Bhatta Konasana, which is the Sanskrit word, uh, it, is, it actually means bound angle posture. Bhatta Kona, Kona means angle uh, and Asana. Bhatta is bound, Kona Asana. So, um, the Bhatta Konasana is also like this, which is the butterfly posture. So uh, this is the classical version of the posture. Now I'm going to show you how to do the lying down version using the props that I have here. Now I'm using a bolster, I have three blocks and I have a belt. You do not need to have all of these uh, to make the asana more comfortable for you. Um, we have of course spoken about, um, you know, using uh, things such as like a scarf instead of a belt, some regular pillows instead of bolsters, and also just like books or something instead of uh, instead of your blocks. So now I would like to start with showing you what Sukta Badakon Asana looks like without the usage of props. So what it looks like is basically this: you come into Badakon Asana, and then you lie down, and you rest your head and extend the arms out. The great things, the benefits of this posture uh, are that it is a deeply relaxing posture because it opens up the hip and the hip is where we have all our tension and stress stored. So opening up the hips, um, it releases a lot of that tension. A lot of people have a tight lower back and opening the hips like this and resting the knees like this actually eases any of the tension and the tight muscles that exist in the, uh, in the lower back. So to come out, you're going to bring the knees together, turn to the right, and come out. Now, to do this with the help of some props, Sukta Bhatta Konasana, because not everybody uh, has the range of motion on the hips to actually go down. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a support with, like uh, I have a bolster, you can have like pillows stacked up. Then I'm going to use a block for my head. Now you can roll up a blanket also for the head. It's just to support the head a little bit. Then I'm going to take a belt and I'm going to, if you have, if you're using a scarf, you tie it in a loop in such a way that you, when you put it around you and it should follow the tailbone and the other half should be long enough to go under your feet. So you're going along the tailbone under both feet and then you tighten this so what this does is it prevents your legs from going out so if you have like um, you know if, if you have like a problem keeping the legs in if that flexibility isn't there yet um, it helps to have a belt holding the legs in and that's very relaxing for the groin as well now I have two more blocks what am I going to do with them I'm going to place them under my knees so that my knees are not flailing in the air. They must rest on something. Only if your limbs rest on something, do they actually feel calm and do they actually feel relaxed. So you're here, now you've set up the Bhattakonasana and then you're gonna push this bolster about like a hand's distance away from your table, so it's not close to the table. You're gonna push it out and then gently, you're gonna lie back down and rest the head on this and in this position the feet are on the floor the knees are absolutely rested arms are on the floor the head is also rested and you can close your eyes and then start to inhale and exhale and we're going to do this 20 times so go ahead and close your eyes and let's begin inhale and exhale one Inhale and exhale two. Inhale and exhale three. Inhale and exhale four. Inhale 
your eyes closed. Don't worry. Focus on your inhalations and exhalations. I will tell you when to stop, when 20 breaths are over. So continue. Feel your body also relaxing into the asana. Your hips might be open, a little more open now. They might be a little more relaxed also now. yourself sinking into the bolster, into the pillows, into the floor. Keep your breathing even and slow. Pace it well. Now the last three breaths, inhale and exhale three, inhale and exhale two, inhale and exhale one. Now slowly blink your eyes open, you're going to place your elbows on the floor and then lift yourself up. And then to remove the belt, you're gonna just untie it, remove it from under your feet first, and then from around you. So that was your Supta Bhadra Konasana, lying down uh, Bhadra Konasana. So uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, do play this video anytime that you need to do this posture uh, during the day. And yeah, stay tuned for the next posture.